Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to hop on and show you a little bit about a bag organizer that I bought for my small Longchamp Le Playage. But before I get started, I do want to say thank you to those of you who have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. I put out a lot of videos about contemporary designer handbags like Coach Michael Kors, Fossil Furla, Longchamp, as well as some luxury items like Gucci, Burberry, and Goyard. So... This is my small Longchamp Le Playage tote. I got it from Poshmark. I have a video of the unboxing. I got it for a great deal. Um, and I have recently been using this um, on a trip. And so I love this bag. I think it's a really great size. Um, it's really comfortable. The shoulder straps actually mold to your shoulder really well, which surprised me because I thought, you know, rolled leather straps would be super uncomfortable, but they're not. Um, but my one problem with this bag, and it's my problem that I have with every unstructured bag, is that things tend to just kind of pile at the bottom of the bag because it doesn't really have a lot of structure. It tends to just kind of bow in on itself when there's a little bit of weight on the bag. So I bought an organizer for it. It took me a while to find an organizer that would fit this bag well, but I did end up finding one on Amazon. I'll link it down below. And so today I just wanted to show you how that uh, organizer fits in the bag, what fits in the bag with the organizer, and then, um, yeah, that's basically it. So... This uh, is the bag. Right now I have it zipped up and the organizer is in it. The first thing you can tell, obviously, is the bag stands up really well with the organizer in it. And if I didn't have the organizer, it would obviously just be falling in on itself because it's just a nylon bag, no structure. So if I open up the bag, you can see the organizer in there. So I got it in hot pink, mostly because uh, this organizer was like $8 if I got it in hot pink, whereas if I got it in like a beige or a more neutral color, uh, it would have been like $20. So I just, you know, I just didn't think the extra $12 was worth it. I did check the reviews and nobody, uh, complained anything about color transfer. So I was pretty sure my SLGs would be fine in terms of color transfer, which is why I was happy with this organizer. So, um, just showing you how it fits. Ugh, it's a little difficult. Um, you can tell that there's a little bit of room on the sides, but it does tend to take up kind of the whole bag. So it does, uh, you know, fill up most of the space, which is good. I will take it out now and just kind of show you what it is. It's a pretty standard organizer. I don't think it's um, really that surprising. So it has uh, buttons here, which you can use to snap it closed if you wanted to. Um, I used that when I was traveling because it's great to be able to kind of smush this flat um, and keep it... So, so the way I usually travel is I have my backpack, my carry-on uh, roller board, and my uh, purse. And so what I usually do right before we board the plane is I shove my purse in my backpack so that I have the, the two bag um, maximum. And so this was really nice because I was able to kind of take everything out of here, put it in my backpack, fold it up, fold this up, and it all fit in my backpack much easier than other handbags did. So... Uh, this organizer has two pockets on the front. These are, um, you know, not that huge and they don't have a lot of give, so they don't fit my wallet or anything. If I showed you, um, like it doesn't really fit in there because it's a little bit thick. Um, but they are good for things like tissues or, uh, maybe a reusable shopping bag, like one of those ones that folds up. Um, and then you have two pockets here that have a lot of give. They have, you know, an entire kind of uh, what is that called? Gusset, I guess, kind of sewn in. Um, and then you have two more pockets here. I think these pockets are all the same size. You have two pockets here. These would be great for lipstick or pens. And then two more pockets, same thing, lipstick or pens. Then you have a pocket here. Uh, this could be good if you have like a small iPad or a Kindle or something. I tend to use it for any paperwork, like receipts or anything. I can just shove it in there. Um, and then you have, I guess, slits here so you can pick it up if you wanted to. Obviously I have henna on my hands in case that was distracting. Um, it's, you know, it's a pretty standard felt organizer, nothing super unique, but I, it was, it took me a while to find one that would fit the small long shop. So now I just want to show you what fits in the organizer. So I'm going to leave the organizer outside of the bag so it'll be easier to show you. But so first I'm going to show you my wallet. So my wallet fits in these pockets right here, usually fits at least. Oh, maybe this one's a little bit bigger. So that fits right there. And then my key case fits much easier. My car keys can fit right there. So now I have all of my SLGs basically. So now if I just throw this into the bag, okay, 
Now you can see how it fits in the bag. It does create a lot more organization, but I will say it does take up a lot of space in the bag. So whereas before, maybe, you know, these SLGs would have floated to the bottom of my bag and had a lot more space to move around, now they really, really take up a lot of room in the bag. So that is a con of these bag organizers, is that a bag that was previously pretty large um, now has much more limited space. So now I just want to show you kind of what else I would carry in this bag. So you have my... SLGs right there. And so the other thing is just my catch-all. This has all of my things like uh, chapstick, Advil, stuff like that. Um, so this, uh, I could downsize this. I could take some stuff out of it and move it to like a smaller container. But I just want to show you that this does fit in here. Like that. And then it, I have a 32 ounce Nalgene with a straw on the inside. And so that will fit as well. So that's basically everything that it can carry. Obviously with the Nalgene, it tends to get a little bit heavy, but I but this is obviously a lot more organized of a bag than if I didn't have a bag organizer and everything was just kind of floating on the bottom. So that is the organizer that I bought for my Longchamp Le Playage Small Tote. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. I will link the organizer down below as well as my Poshmark code if you, don't, if you do want to search for some pre-love Longchamps for yourself. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.